This one thing helps speed up my process so, 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 so much in my web design business. And it also helped me generate a little extra income. Now, I'm going to be breaking it down, why I do it, all that good stuff in this video. But first, hello, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle. I talk all things web design and I have a community that I just started where if you want to learn web design, if you want to see the behind the scenes of me being a creative creator, creating the things that I do, be sure to join my Discord community. I will have a link down below. Now, a lot of the times, a lot of people are wanting to know what is it, what does it take to get into the web design space? How much money do you make? All of this good stuff, how to prepare yourself. I've done videos on there on those topics already. I will have them linked somewhere above or in the description box as well. But essentially, I did want to kind of bring you guys this quick little video, just explaining how this piece right here, this one thing right here, sped up the game for me. It sped it up. <laughs> During my journey as a freelance website designer currently living in Tanzania, Africa right now, I have realized that I've had slow processes, I've had fast processes, but none really quite hit the good process okay because there's a difference between a fast process and a good process if you have a fast process where you getting a client in getting them done that's cool and all but if you didn't build that relationship if you don't have that foundation of respect time respect um just building that friendship learning their brand and really being knowledgeable on every client that you take then it's not really a good process if we're being completely honest and i think this is not talked about a lot in the web design space and since i have been in this space for a minute and i'm learning through my experience and taking you guys along the journey i just wanted to kind of bring this video so that you guys can understand the different types of processes there are and how to make sure you have a good process okay and not to say that processes only benefit you as the website designer but it also helps and benefits the client as well even if you want to eventually put more people on your team let's just say like even for me i i'm done doing logos but i do have a logo guy and right now he's not on payroll we just kind of like work some things out um, but essentially if I want to put him on my team, I can actually do that in the process that I'm going to be talking about would still be beneficial for him as well. So you see how, if you create a good process for yourself, not a slow or a fast one, but a good one, it really benefits everybody within the business. Now I've had a slow process before too, when I first started out and that process looked a lot like um the client reached out i didn't know really what to say to really close the sale i eventually luckily somehow miraculously end up closing the sale i i'm dealing with a brand that i had no idea about because i lacked the research when they first hit me up now i have them now i'm trying to do all the research now i'm trying to get familiar with what it is that they even want out of their website and now i'm doing the website and then because me and the client never had a clear understanding on the needs for the website. Now we're constantly going back and forth. And then eventually it comes a time where, okay, we got it to a point eventually where they like it. And then I branch it off to them and I never talk to them again. That's honestly a slow, but also a horrible process. And like I said, since I've experienced that, I've been tweaking and tweaking and tweaking. And I think what I'm doing right now is super, super good. So that one thing that helped speed up my process and actually helped my process as a website designer go so smoothly is site mapping and wireframing. Now, first, let me just give you guys the actual definition of what a site map and wireframe is before I give you guys my intake on it. Now, I got my handy ChatGPT because me and him, we type. So anyways, a site map is like a plan for all the pages a website will have, showing how they connect so people can easily find what they need. Now, a wireframe is a simple sketch of each page, showing where things like the buttons and pictures will actually go. It's like an outline to make sure everything fits before adding the details. So essentially, uh, your sitemap, most of the times, is going to say, these are the pages that's needed for your website. You have an e-com, you're going to need a shop page, you're going to need a single product page, you're also going to need your terms of service, shipping, um, all those legal pages, you're going to need them by default. 
okay if you're a service provider you're going to need your service pages you're going to need also your terms of service you're going to need your single service page okay you're going to need all these different things all right so the site map is just going to be able to tell your client hey this is your brand this is your website these are the pages necessary not the pages you think they need not the pages they think they need these are the pages that are necessary for this brand for this business or niche or whatever and then the wireframe is putting it together putting some data on there so they can visually see it a little bit more um on like what a page will actually have so that they can see if they like their structure okay so you have some people who may say they want their products all of their products listed on the home page now depending on how many products they have this can either break or break or make the design but we're not here to talk about all that but let's just say the client says that they so they want right if they have enough that fits it, it's nice it can be nicely structured on the home page you can actually showcase this to them firsthand in different ways different layouts so that they can have a better understanding on what this will actually look like because we do have a lot of clients who will come to us and say this is what i want can you do that okay you do it they see it and now they're like i don't like that i don't i don't think i want it i thought i wanted it but i don't want that anymore so this is is why the wireframing process is super important as well and how did this speed up my process well it gave me the understanding of what's needed it pushed me to go ahead and do the research needed for this brand or niche immediately as soon as I get someone or a client to pay the wireframing fee, which is the first part of my web design process, um, as soon as I get that in, I go into researching. I'm researching. I'm figuring out the layout. I'm I mean, not the layout. I'm figuring out the pages needed first. And then I go to how does it need to be structured. So now I'm going into the wireframing because now I want to see how it needs to be laid out to make sure that the user experience is well for my client. I want to make sure that they get money. I can only make sure they get money if I know that the structure is laid out right. But I'm not just going to take my creative knowledge into play. I'm also going to be hearing my client out for what they need. So that's again how it sped it up. Because now once I have my site map and my wireframe created, now I hop on a video call. Again, I'm giving you guys my little workflow process. process. But then I hop on this video call, I open up my, um, my, I share my screen with them so they can see the wireframe and the sitemap. I go over the sitemap and I'm telling them, hey, these are the pages that's necessary. We have to have these pages. I want to set your business up for success and it's my duty as your website designer to make sure I can make that happen. You're paying me, I got to make sure I implement everything that's needed. So here's the sitemap, here are the pages. These pages link here in this way and you know it's linked this way because of X, Y, and Z, right? So now I'm gonna scoot it over and I'm gonna because I'm on a whiteboard, I'm gonna scoot it over and I'm now I'm going to show them this is the wireframe. This is what the home page would potentially look like. And this is why I did what I did. And when I'm showing them this wireframe, I'm showing them the structure, the layout, the reasons behind why I'm putting things in certain places again for further giving them my creative knowledge but also giving them the insight so they can piggyback off of that and say okay well i think i need to add or take away this because i don't have or i have this so now it's like since i'm being able to talk to this client now they're telling me all the different things that they probably would have never told me if i haven't sat and picked their brain now it makes a picking picking my brain session so much more smoother and formative for not only just me as a website designer but for my client as well so let me i know i just said a lot so let me just break it down for you so this is a re these are a few reasons why how it really sped up my design process like i said for one it it gave me that urgency to go ahead and do my research immediately. Don't wait until I'm actually in a design phase or whatnot. I need to do it immediately. That way I can provide them knowledge on the different pages that's needed as well as the structure and layout. The second reason is because when I was able to show, when I'm able to actually show my client the site map and wireframe that I came up with, now we can piggyback off of ideas. Now they can tell me what they like, what they don't like, what they actually have and don't have. And so now it breeds this form of um, insights on both ends. My end being a website designer, I know what to create now. 
and on their end as the client they know what to expect now you see how that goes in the web design space you want to know what you're doing and creating as the website designer but trust me your client wants to know what to expect from you okay so that was the second way it sped up everything because now during this wireframe and sitemap video call we're piggybacking off of um ideas i get to know what structure they really resonate with what they have and don't have so i can really like know you know what to do what to use and all that good stuff and then the third way it also helped to speed up my process was because in this time of sitemap and wireframing like I said, you're going to learn so much more or get so much more information from this client before you start designing. Because if we're being honest, the first 30 minute consultation that you hop on a call to learn a little bit more about what they do and how they do things, and then you do your research yourself, honestly, this doesn't give you too much information. Now I have a video that I'm going to be posting so be sure you guys are subscribed where I'm talking about the different questions that you can ask that will give you the most information out of your web design product projects. Oh my god I'm having a tongue twister. But essentially that still isn't enough. I realized that after doing the site map and the wireframing process I got so much more information because now since they can as the client visually see everything they're brainstorming too because they can see it. And with their brainstorming, you're getting the information that you probably would have never gotten on a regular 30 minute discovery call, maybe even a 30 minute introductory call, a proposal. You would have never gotten this even through talking back and forth with them during the whole design process. You probably still wouldn't have gotten this type of information. So those are the three ways that this simple thing of site mapping and wireframing really sped up my design process. Now, if you want more behind the scenes on how I actually go through my wireframing phase, tools I'm using, all that good stuff, be sure to join my Discord community. I will have it linked down in the description box below. I actually go live on there weekly, um, and I actually show you guys a little bit of my creative flow and everything like that. I have my web design classes down there. All that good stuff if you want to be a part of it comment down below i would love to hear what other videos you guys will want to hear about in the future on these little chit chats with me and that's all i have for today's video and i will catch you guys in the next one bye